David to me is somebody who's full of life, who loves life, makes a contribution to the world. When you see somebody like that, who are facing a tough diagnosis, you really want to help them extend their life and make sure that they have the best quality of life possible. My diagnosis came about very peculiarly. I took a pain in my back, and after two days, I decided it was time to go and see my local GP. She uh, said to me, well, I'm sorry to have to tell you, you have aggressive prostate cancer. It has spread to your bones, and uh, it has spread to your lymph nodes. And uh, I just, at that time, uh, went completely numb. I thought, how am I gonna survive this? David, just over a year and a half ago, he came to my clinic with really quite a bad prostate cancer. One of the highest PSAs I've ever seen. I know he was devastated by the diagnosis, but we were delighted to take on his case. The Centers of Excellence is a program of scientific endeavor and clinical trial endeavor, and we're really trying to develop new ways to help men with advanced prostate cancer. We approached David about the idea of this clinical trial, and it's called ADRAD, and it's a trial for men with prostate cancer, which is already spread at the time of diagnosis. After they finish their chemotherapy, they then move on to try two types of ionizing radiation at the same time. Radiation to the prostate gland and pelvis using high-tech external radiotherapy, and then using a drug called radium-223, which is an injected form of radiation. It's a bone-seeking missile. The combination of those two types of radiation in men with advanced prostate cancer is something we've been testing here for the last two years. If I hadn't joined the program, there's no way in this wide world uh, I would be sitting talking to you today. The bone cancer that has gone from my spine, more or less, that really blows my mind away. It's been a great pleasure to watch him go through that trial and actually respond very well and get back to a pretty normal life. Someone said to me the other day, uh, have you been on holidays? I said, no, I haven't. She said, well, you look, you look really good. I said, well, I feel really good. I have a couple of friends, and once a month we meet up for a Saturday breakfast. I have been a good quality of life. I think the most important thing is actually the hope that this brings. Because if you're given a diagnosis which tells you you're not going to live as long as you thought, you're devastated by this news, what clinical trials can bring is the hope of something better, but also the hope that taking part in the research will help the next man five years from now face with the same dilemma in his life. If through the treatments which I've had, if other people can get help uh, like I've got help, then that's what I long for. I long to even be an inspiration to people.